Hello, 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 and welcome to Scraplifter with me, Helen. I'm actually scraplifting myself. You see, this layout I created about 18 months ago, and when I was trying to get organised for this layout, I started flicking through my albums, and I saw this page and thought, oh, I could use this as a starting point. Mainly because at the moment I am so busy with work that my scrapbooking mojo has kind of diminished a little bit. You see, it's the start of the school year. Well, actually, it's a few weeks into the new school year here in Australia. And I've changed grades. I'm teaching year one. Haven't taught it for 15 years. And I'm so busy with that that I just am finding it difficult to find the time to scrapbook. So that starting point, I thought, well, if I use my own layout, it might get me going. So anyway, this is the layout I created after drawing a sketch from my own layout. Gee, Helen, that was a long introduction. As you can see, I'm changing it up slightly in my first layout. There was only little photos, whereas this one I'm using larger photos and I went into my stash and found some papers from a few different ranges mainly uh, it was what was it called indigo in blue no uh can't remember what the main lot of paper came from which range but it was an American crafts range anyway and then a few extra pieces from my stash from other people from other ranges and really it's not that complicated a layout as I said scrapbooking mojo is really really struggling at the moment so I needed to keep it fairly simple in order to get it completed just don't have the brain space for much else and really I'm just cutting pieces layering behind my photos using little bits and pieces to give the illusion that I have bigger pieces behind my photos. I like this dark blue just to give it a bit of contrast because the other papers are fairly light and just that blue, copper blue everywhere does help give it some depth, some, some contrast, I think anyway. Plus it ties in with the photo of myself and my friend Tom we've got darker colors in and it just pulls in that contrast between the dark photo and the light photo here you can see I didn't have enough of the blue to continue it all the way across plus it's a waste of paper to do that anyway so I just cut strips and stuck them behind then because I was fiddling around oh I made it too wide for the page so I just trimmed a little bit off and there you go, there it's going to stick down. One, for a change, I didn't use my double-sided tape where I could actually manoeuvre it. I just used the ATG gun, and you'll notice it later. Oh, right about here, actually. If I'd used my normal double-sided tape method, I could have at least centred it properly. But I didn't. So the craft isn't quite centred in that patterned up the background. Would most people notice? Probably not. I do. But I'm just letting it go. These are the sticker stickers from the Indigo and Ivy range. I think that's what it was called. The pink paisley one. And I'm just pulling some things off the sticker sheet that I think kind of goes with the colours and is it really I mean it's flowers and I'll put a few butterflies and leaves on mainly because the photos were taken at this old heritage bridge in um, Victoria when I was on holiday in 2018 seems like a long time ago now and so I suppose the flowers and the butterflies and the leaves got something to do with nature Mainly the colours went, really. Now I must apologise, my filming wasn't the greatest. I seem to have cut off the bottom of my layout. I'm really sorry. Uh, 
what can I say, didn't check it until later and this is what I ended up with. I'm sticking fairly close to the sketch that I drew for myself at the start. However, I have got a much bigger centerpiece than the previous layout. And in my uh, first original layout, I did sew around the edges, but <laughs> I must admit, it's probably a little bit too lazy to get the sewing machine out. So I did think some white pen um, would work. Original layout, I stamped and inked some white things in the background. Once again, a little bit lazy this time. Just used my white pen and did some doodly little stars and dots just to fill in some journaling you have to see i've got kind of a title down there and that's it pretty easy pretty straightforward has it got me going ready to scrapbook again well, i'm not sure we'll see what happens anyway thanks for watching take care see you later